Jeannie, when I, I first came over to YR, she was so excited. She's like, yes, finally we get to work together after all these years. And I just always had this special feeling for her in my heart, you know, it was like this, she was like a grandma to me. This is actually, I brought this, see that? This is one of my prized possessions. There was never age. Age didn't d define Jeannie. Somebody had mentioned that it was her birthday. And I was like, oh, happy birthday. And I thought she turned 70. And I was told, she goes, oh, you turned 80. I'm like, you turned 80? She was the consummate professional at 80, never complaining about the hours she was keeping, the amount of dialogue she had. And I looked at her right then. I said, I can never complain again. That to do it up until age 84 and do it well is extraordinary. She was feisty and just wildly confident. She'd walk into a room and just have every single person stare at her and say hello and just like this fabulous diva. But she was genuine. You know how you meet people and they're, you can tell they're wrapped up in, their, in, in themselves and she wasn't. She was a selfless person and she gave to everyone and that was just really unique. You just don't meet many people like that. I learned a lot from her about her humility and um, professionalism and being present with everybody. More than mourning the loss, I really was felt more of a celebration of her life. She was the grounding force on YNR. And so I feel really blessed I got to meet her and to work with her and to be a part of the legend because she is a legend. If I could say something to her right now, I'd be like, you know what? I would stop crying if you walk in that room right now. <laughs>